Niagara on the Lake is known for many things, including fruit farms. But who would have thought life on a Niagara on the Lake fruit farm would make for a TV series? Joe Pilateri, a local resident and comedian did, and he's trying to turn his real life experiences into a TV show on CBC. Well, cheer for Mr. Joe Pilateri, everybody. <laughs> Tonight is a launch party for Fruit Farm, a, uh, a sitcom that would be based in Niagara as part of an online contest with CBC for, a, for a, a contest called Comedy Coup. It's actually an accelerator project contest called comedycoup.cbc.ca. And uh, we submitted Fruit Farm as our concept for the sitcom. And uh, tonight's uh, kind of a, a launch party locally to let people know exactly what the project's all about. How did you come up with the concept for Fruit Farm? Uh, I've been doing stand-up comedy for uh, maybe the past 10 or 15 years, and uh, the basis of the sitcom is actually my, my stand-up act, which is my relationship with my dad growing up on a family fruit farm, um, the interactions with all the other people that I worked with from all over the world, from Mexico, Jamaica, Laos, Thailand, Vietnam. Um, I got to interact with people that, that didn't speak English, so we had to find ways to communicate, and, and ultimately we all had to work for my dad. So. Yeah, it, sadly, it's based on entirely real life experiences. It was, uh, I don't think I could make up what, what happened to me in my childhood. It wasn't abusive, but it wasn't, it wasn't, necessarily, uh, it wasn't necessarily fun all the time. So um, I look back at it now and I laugh. And uh, when I think about the stuff that we really did, like, uh, you know, just having a kid in charge of pesticides, uh, for instance, you know, we think of it as ludicrous today, but it's part of my upbringing and I can't erase it now, so. How about these t-shirts, huh? How about these fruit farm t-shirts? We ordered them and they delivered them in a box so that we unwrapped the box today. And it was like when my mom used to come home uh, with a bag from Bargain Herald. That's what I felt like. <laughs> The lovely t-shirt, son, the bright orange on the front, and they don't fit very well. The arms are too long, and if you tuck them in, they're down past your knees. And they were only $12. Isn't that lovely? Getting on to the next round is based on uh, votes as part of it, your ratings, how people have rated your project along the way, the comments, and your interaction with uh, social media, and events like this. So we announced this event, and uh, you know, God bless the people of Niagara Lake. A day and a half later, it was sold out. Uh, we've got a packed house tonight where uh, we'll, we'll introduce uh, basically the material for the pilot script, and uh, and it'll be it's all part of a package that lets them get you down to the top 15. So we're in the top 55 right now, trying to get to the top 15, and from there it's up to the producers. Yeah, it's almost uh, it's almost uh, a little overwhelming for me actually because uh, the moment we put it out there, uh, everyone texts and writes and you know. 10 years ago, it was tough to fill a room with people to come see me tell jokes. But now with my friends Graham Davidson and David Green, who are here supporting me tonight, um, these are people that, that do good for the community. All the proceeds tonight we're giving to the new hospital. Um, so all the ticket sales and the, the alcohol proceeds we're giving to the hospital. Um, so when people come out in droves like this and, and fast and furious to buy tickets, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's a little much to handle actually sometimes. So I, uh, I always have to stay back until I get out on stage. So when this sitcom takes off and you become rich and famous, you'll be giving Coach Co. all the credit, right? I'm mailing everyone that's been involved a check for at least three or four dollars. So I've told Jack uh, from Coach Co. that he's good for three to six dollars, depending on how well the show does. And, uh, and I'll get him a t-shirt too. He's got a t-shirt guaranteed. Even if you miss the Sunday deadline to vote, make sure to check out clips of Fruit Farm on the CBC website and show your support. In Niagara on the Lake, for The Source, I'm Sarah Buffett.